Hi there everyone, we are back in the Winsford Rock Salt Mine at the Deep Store facility where the Royal Society keeps lots and lots of goodies. And once again, I'm with Laura from the library who's here visiting and we've been getting out some boxes to show you just some of the stuff they store here. And today we're talking about a guy called John Herbert Humphrey. He was a fellow of the Royal Society. He was an immunologist and he was based for most of his career with the Medical Research Council. So his papers and a few of his things have been sitting in boxes mm -hmm. You've got them now, so at some point soon, these boxes are going to be shipped down to you in London. Yeah. You're going to go through them mm -hmm. and do all the proper cataloguing. Certainly, yeah. But we are going to give you a bit of a sneak preview now. Because we're here, it'd be rude not to have a little look, wouldn't it? OK, what have we got? So all what right. we've got in here are glass microscope slides, as far as I recall. Let's, Let's just stop and, and admire that box for a moment. Yeah. Look at that. This is kind of before computers and filing so people would keep these immaculate index cards of their research and they'd keep their microscope slides in a similar way. I'll tell you what you've done a really good job <laughs> packaging this up you are very yep. thorough. <laughs> so we've got boxes within boxes. Yeah. What have we got in here? Oh there we go there's yep. a oh wow <laughs> can I take one out? Yeah go ahead. Wow unfortunately neither of us are immunologists <laughs> but have a look at that. So this is where um, we might make use of our fellows expertise to help us understand some of this stuff. I think with these files, there wasn't much context kept about the information. They were kind of just boxes of slides on their own on a shelf. And you just <laughs> tap up some of the fellows and say... That's right, yeah, they're there. You know, they're, um, they're the experts and they can really help us out with this stuff. It would be a shame not to make use of that resource that we've got. Oh, wow. What's in that box there, then? I think this... Oh, this looks cool, look. So, F-I-T-C-H-G-G. If you know what that means, leave yeah. a comment under the video. <laughs> and there's what that yeah, is. so these are samples. Maybe the samples are inside the mm -hmm. marker thing. And what have we got here, Laura? So we've got some more slides here, but they're kind of presented in a, a different way. They're quite um, beautifully presented. Oh, yeah. Look. Yeah. Little slide holders. It's a shame we didn't get some titles and a bit more information. He probably wouldn't have thought that his stuff would end up in the Royal Society archives. Or a salt mine in Cheshire. No. <laughs> but it's not just microscope slides you've got. You've got a whole no. bunch of papers here as well. What else is here? Basically what we did was took his filing cabinets and emptied them into boxes. So that's exactly what we have here. They've kind of got titles here. Oh, okay. Nuclear weapons? Yeah, he was quite an interesting character because he was pretty politically active. So there's some correspondence there about campaigning against nuclear weapons. Oh, look. So we've got nuclear weapon sort of flyers, obviously from marches and things mm -hmm. and then a whole bunch of letters and so in this file you've got lots of correspondence of him kind of networking he's writing to other scientists other medical professionals he's trying to kind of build support for his cause so we've got letters to professor humphrey and letters from professor humphrey all about the campaign against nuclear weapons so laura who is likely to want to read dozens and dozens and dozens of letters from the early 1980s by professor humphrey about nuclear weapons. We're looking at kinds of social history here, really. So anyone who's interested in Cold War and international relations, there's all sorts of opportunities there for research, I think. And correspondence is really what people are looking for when they come to do research in the archive, because that's where you get the juicy stuff and you kind of get to see these relationships between people develop. Well, OK, as we said, very soon all of these boxes will be returning to London to be catalogued by the archivists at the Royal Society. And who knows what they might find when they start looking in more detail. So, Laura, maybe we'll have a second video on Professor so. Humphrey soon. Yeah, let's hope so. Look at this. Oh, I These totally feel like Indiana Jones right yeah. now. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Just so you know, I don't actually need this light. I just think it looks cool. It does look cool, yeah. come on. So apparently, 120,000 boxes in this unit alone. Can you yeah. imagine how many videos we could make? That's a lot of cataloguing. That's going to keep me busy for the rest <laughs> of my life.